Hi, and welcome to Elements in Focus. Here at Elements, Elements in Focus, it's our desire to help educate you on the five critical elements. That's what we call them in our firm. Uh, five critical elements are areas of planning that are super important to your financial future and situation. On the show today, my name is Grant Sullivan. And I'm Aaron Rayum. And we're so happy to have you here. Aaron, big critical element today we're covering, what is it? Legacy planning. And again, as we're laying out the foundation for these topics, today we're going to cover just the basics of what legacy planning is, what it does, what you should be thinking about. And then over time, as we go on with these video uh, resources, we'll get a whole lot more topical. So Grant, if someone were to come into one of our offices, mm -hmm. What kind of initial conversation would you have in gearing someone up for legacy planning? Oh, that's a great question, Aaron. I appreciate you asking it. So one thing I want to make very clear as we're doing these, um, Aaron, myself, our team, we are not attorneys. Uh, we don't play them here or on TV or on the radio, so that needs to be stated very clearly. When it comes to legacy planning, however, it's our job to make sure that the documents that are in place are really in the best interest of the family. It's our fiduciary responsibility. Um, and when looking at legacy planning, the first things we review are simple. Has your will been updated? Or is it the one you made in 1986? <laughs> sure. <laughs> and oftentimes, a lot of families have adult children and they haven't updated any estate documents. So step one, updating. Right. Step Just on a will? or oh. Is oh, and that's a great question. Uh, on all estate documents. Right. And I think where you were going with this too is, a lot of times, most people back then didn't even have durable powers of attorney. Sure. Medical directives, et cetera, et cetera. Um, there's a lot that's changed in the state of Indiana when it comes to legacy planning. Yes, all legacy law, for the most part, is done on a state-by-state -state basis. So Indiana legacy laws are different than California, New York, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So if you've moved to the state of Indiana and you have estate documents, trusts, et cetera, you probably have to do some updating or figure out how those transition with you. So those are the big first key elements we cover. One other one. thing there Go too, ahead, Grant, yeah. is not just the <clears throat> legacy documents themselves, but do you have the correct beneficiaries mm. on accounts? Um, a lot of times people don't change those. So we, we absolutely make sure that those are right and proper. Oh, it's 100%. And uh, you and I have probably seen this more times than we want to admit. But make sure you have beneficiaries on your documents. Yes. Uh, yeah. A lot of things can go wrong with no beneficiaries. Or make sure that, you, like you said, change your beneficiaries, mm -hmm. especially if you've been remarried. Um, unfortunately, can't win that battle in court. It's already been proven. Beneficiary documents trump all. Um, the other thing, too, and this is you know brought up from the plan as well when we talk about transitioning assets or legacy plan, with beneficiaries, Remember, not all beneficiaries are equal. You hear this a lot from our managing partner on our radio show, from our team. Um, and in the legacy plan, when we talk about going through and transitioning wealth, if that's something you prefer or want to do, we talk through you know, our, why beneficiaries aren't equal. We know you love your heirs and your children equally. Yep. We get that. But the IRS doesn't. And so <laughs> and we need to make sure that all that's in place to really make the most tax efficient yeah. situation too. We always come back to taxes, Aaron. It's always about taxes. Yeah. And so as Aaron said earlier, um, there's this is a an iceberg that has a very, very, very big, deep bottom. And so we'll be covering more of these topics as time goes on. Um, and as we do this, I would look forward to engaging with you, connecting with you. And in doing so, Aaron, if someone wanted to reach out to us and connect with our team about this or any other planning topics we cover, how do they get a hold of us? Yeah, go ahead and give us a call. Uh, they can call our office number, which is 800-928-4001, or reach out to us on our website at www.yourlifeafterwork.com. And uh, we would be more than happy to give you any sort of consultation, help, whatever questions that you have. Do not hesitate to reach out to us. We are happy to help. Thank you for being with us at Elements to Focus today. We look forward to helping you through these topics and providing more education, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.